So I've been thinking, man, what are the things that I want out of the Switch 2? We don't even know what it's going to be. It's speculated to be a continuation of what the Switch is, so a portable slash home console hybrid. But really, we don't know. Keeping it in that realm of still being a hybrid, I came up with things that I want out of a Switch 2. Now, I want to be clear. I'm not one of these people that push Switch 2 rumors or when the Switch 2 is coming out. I don't know when it's coming out. And I'll be honest with you, I'm preoccupied with other game systems and I'm still getting a lot of usage out of my Switch anyway. So I'm not really in a rush for a new Switch, but if one came, I thought about the things that I would want and need from it. So let's go through my top five wants and needs for the Nintendo Switch 2. Starting with needs, we're gonna go with my top priority, full backwards compatibility. Look, at this point, I think we've all become accustomed to having full backwards compatibility. Sony's doing it, Microsoft's doing it, and Nintendo should definitely make the leap. Nintendo has on and off again given backwards compatibility depending upon the platform, and so has all the other brands. But I think at this point, it's safe to say that this should be a feature going forward for every system and platform, especially seeing as a lot of people are PC gamers nowadays. And as you guys know, if you play on PC, you could play any PC game from any time period. You might have to do a little, you know, finagling around with your settings and stuff like that, you know, but overall, you could play whatever PC game from whatever generation you want. At this point, moving forward, Nintendo should allow all Switch games to work on Switch 2. And going forward from Switch 2, all those games should work on whatever the next system is as well. Number two, and this is a big one for me as well, it's time for Nintendo to finally fix these doggone Joy-Cons. The whole point of the Switch is to be a handheld slash home console hybrid. I don't even use my Switch portably because my Joy-Cons broke and I'm not going to buy any more because Joy-Cons continuously break. Every time there was a rumor that Nintendo did a revision on the Joy-Cons, they always still break. They never fix they never fixed the problem. So now I just use my um Switch Pro controller and there's no reason to use a Switch Pro controller while playing portably. Let it be uncomfortable. So I just play on my TV. The whole point of the Switch is pretty much useless to me because Nintendo made faulty hardware. They could have fixed this problem with Switch 1, obviously, with the original Switch, but at this point, you need to make sure with Switch 2, that should be an advertising point. We fixed the Joy-Con drift. The Joy-Con drift should not be a problem anymore. If you got to make brand new type of Joy-Cons just to fix it, I don't care. This should not be a problem. I understand controllers get faulty as time goes on, but when, I, when people are reporting that their Joy-Con, they just bought a Switch, and then the Joy-Cons break within like a month, that's ridiculous. Number three, cheaper cartridges. Now, what do I mean by cheaper cartridges? I don't mean necessarily cheaper for us, the consumers. I understand games cost $60 or some might even cost $70. I get that's the price increasing over time. I'm talking about for the developers. I love physical media and I, you know, look at Nintendo as one of the biggest supporters of physical media, but it's sad that many third party games don't come out on Switch physically or it's partially physical because well the cartridges cost too much for them to get so they don't buy or invest in the big size cartridges because it costs too much money for them to invest in today so nintendo needs to find out a way to lower those cartridge prices down so we can have more physical switch games in the market that are fully on the cartridge i'm tired of buying games that are not fully on the cartridge that's why at this point i think i got caught with two of them by accident i don't buy any of those games anymore if i can't get the physical game on the cartridge i just buy digitally and I want to be able to buy it physically. Number four, I need achievements, trophies, whatever Nintendo is going to call them. I need it in all games. Listen, I want to be clear because anyone that's been knowing me and following my channel, this has been a debate I've had with Nintendo fans for years. And, they, and you know, we have Nintendo fans that are very extremists. They'll say, well, Nintendo technically had trophies or achievements in very few games on the Wii U and the 3DS. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how I can turn on my Xbox, my PlayStation, I can go to Steam, I'm pretty sure I can go to any uh, you know, other PC gaming websites, and every game has trophies and achievements. The Switch should have trophies and achievements for every game. I appreciate when developers go out their way to make a specific trophy and achievement window for a particular game for Switch, but if the system itself had trophies and achievements on it, and it was a mandate, because it's a mandate everywhere. The developers don't have to do anything special. Nintendo should put this in their games. Why? Because this adds replay value and it's something that gamers enjoy. 
It takes nothing away from Nintendo to add it. It only benefits them and it only benefits us. If you don't like trophies and achievements, guess what? Don't bother with them. It's no loss to anyone to include these. They need to be here. Number five, better performance and graphics. Now this goes without saying, but let me explain to you what I mean by better performance and graphics. The performance goes beyond just games. I'm tired of getting on that eShop and it runs slow like molasses. I'm tired of circle, um, going down the eShop and then it starts chugging because there's too many things it's trying to load and it freezes and it doesn't crash my system, but it'll kick me out and say it can't load and then I'll have to load into the eShop again. There's been plenty of times I'm trying to buy something and then it takes too long to load and it kicks me out because it can't load all the different icons and stuff. So Nintendo needs better performance on the system overall, especially in that eShop. With games, of course, there are plenty of Nintendo games and definitely third party games. They have low frame rate. I need, I would prefer 60 frames per second in every game. But if I can't get 60, I'm still a person that truly believes, look, I enjoy games at 60, at 30. It don't change. Just make it smooth. I don't want a bunch of dips and I don't want a bunch of lag. Now, when it comes to performance, I'm not performance. When it comes to graphics, I like Nintendo's art style. It's colorful. <clears throat> They're oftentimes shell shaded. They're not very detailed. That I don't care about. I just want the clarity to be nice. So I want the Switch to be able to produce, produce games in 4K. Natively, upscale, I don't care as long as the upscale is good. They don't have to change their art style. I, their art style is fine. I just want it to look sharper. So that's all I want from the graphics department from Nintendo. Now third party, if the system is more powerful, I should be getting nicer looking Switch games from third party. Cause some Switch games from third party look fugly. We don't need no more fugly games. It benefits nobody to have fugly games and you bought it just because it's on Switch because you're desperate. That's the, Nintendo fans, y'all gotta get out of that. Demand more, demand better, get better looking games. Now this is a bonus need. Um, I need free upgrades. What I mean by that is there is rumors that the Switch 2, just like PlayStation and Xbox, you'll be able to put in an old Switch game and it'll probably have better performance. I need Nintendo to make them free. I know Sony kind of charges $10 for some. I think Xbox 2. So in fairness, to keep parity with everybody else, if Nintendo charged $10 for a couple of them, okay, whatever. But overall, most of them need to be free. Nintendo should not be saying, hey, you want the better version of Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom? Just buy the whole game over again. No, just let me upgrade the game. If, I, if it costs me $10, that's reasonable, but it'll be better if it's free. Need those free upgrades. Now let's get to the ones. These will be more simple. Themes is number one. I think a lot of us want themes. I enjoyed the themes on the 3DS. I kind of miss that the PS5 doesn't have things. That kind of sucks because I got a couple things from the PS4. So I definitely would have bought some themes. So I just like things because, you know, they add personality to your system. I think everybody would like that. And seeing that the Switch is portable and you might even bring it near someone, it will be cool. Like I remember with the PSP, there were so many custom things you can have with PSPs. I remember showing my friends, a, I had a Mario Galaxy theme for my PSP and it looked cool because I had the Red God of War PSP, so it kind of matched. You know, that's just something to add personality to the system. So that should come. I want some themes. Another feature that it really don't affect me that much because I, you know, record with my Elgato, but I would like longer recordings for the Switch. The 30 second recording is like really short and it's kind of, you know, tricky because there be, it's, Sometimes you will think you recorded 30 seconds and then it, it records the 30 seconds before and then it slightly records the 30 seconds, not ahead obviously, but kind of like not where you think it's going to begin. It's kind of tricky to judge that thing. I just think they need longer record times, especially for people who don't have capture devices. So you can have longer videos and you don't need to buy a whole new device for that. Number three, on system voice chat and messaging. Please don't tell me about some phone app that nobody uses. Let people talk on their switch themselves. Let people message people on their switch themselves. It is very simple to ask for this. Every platform has it and the Wii U technically had it. I don't know about the voice chat part, but it definitely had messaging with, um, I forgot what it's called. Meverse. Yeah, that's what it's called. Matter of fact, you could just bring Meverse back. That'd be cool. Number four, better organized eShop. Now what I mean by that is when you go to the homepage on the eShop, what do you see? You see a bunch of stuff that nobody wants. Let's just be real about it. You see, and it's not, you know, keeping it, it needs to be some organization to it. Don't have the homepage of the eShop just every game that released ever in chronological order. Like half of that stuff nobody wants to see. Put, put some effort into the eShop and organize it well. 
And my fifth one is use the gimmicks of the Switch more. What I mean by use the gimmicks of the Switch more, the Switch has HD rumble. Barely any game uses it. Now the Switch does have motion controls and a lot of games have emotion aiming, especially shooters. But when it comes to using the touchscreen on the Switch, I think the only game I got that uses touchscreen on the Switch is Sushi Strikers. Like, there's just a lot of things that Nintendo could do with the extra bells and whistles of the Switch, which I call gimmicks, and they don't use them. And it would be nice for them to use them because as someone who now has a PS5 and a lot of games use the haptic uh, feedback in the PS5 controller, I get used to that. Um, sometimes when I play my PS5, if you boot it up from, what is it, sleep mode, for some reason the haptic feedback stuff don't work. It just re defaults to regular rumble. And I notice it and I restart my PlayStation to get my HD rumble or my, not HD rumble, my haptic feedback. So I really like that type of stuff. Is it a game changing thing? It is in some instances, but I put it in the want category for Nintendo because I don't think Nintendo is going to go that deep with it like PlayStation did. So I'm just putting in the want category. I want Nintendo to use their features more often. And finally, my bonus want hard drive support. Now you might be saying, how would that even work? Make a better dock. That's all you got to do. Make it so that when the switch is docked, you could plug up a hard drive and it can. And as long as you do not remove the switch from the dock or like, I don't know how they would do it, but they could figure out a way where if you have a hard drive plugged up to the dock, a USB hard drive, and then the switch is in it, the switch can read from it. And then when you remove the switch, it stops reading from it. Now, if you're playing a game off there, you might corrupt. So you, you got to be able to trust your consumers. It's no different. And I have, I have, um, portable eight hard drives plugged up to my PlayStation, to my PC and everything. Obviously, if I'm using an application that's running off the hard drive, that's portable and I unplug it, it's going to probably mess something up. So this is a problem before anyone say, well, this school, so people will mess stuff up if they do it that way. People got to use their brain. Let the consumer use their brain. If you're playing a game that's running strictly off of the hard drive, then just letting it, let the system say, okay, well you unplugged it, you moved it. Um, it doesn't work. Um, you have to maybe have to do a, a reboot of some type and Nintendo could do something like this. Don't, you don't have to let me play the games off the hard drive. Just let me put my data on the hard drive. I'll take that. Let me plug in a, a portable hard drive and let me store switch games on it. And then I can only play them if they're on the system memory or the SD card that's in the switch. But let me just store the games on the hard drive. That would be appreciated. So anyway, those are my top fives, wants and needs for the switch Two. let me know what you have for your wish list in the comment section. I think that the Switch 2 discussion is interesting. I do get bombarded and annoyed slightly with all the rumors. That's why I don't focus on that. But they did spark this conversation in my head. Like, what do I really want? And these are the things I came up with. So let me know what you want in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video.